Welcome Leo Seekers to the Existential Shift. Um, Leos and Leo placements, wherever you have Leo in your chart. Oh, look at that star. Aquarius energy right across from you that is within you. Hello. What are you so cheerful about? If not now or recently, then very soon. Something that would really, that will really uplift your mood. It's like you went through or right at the final stages of going through a lot of rejuvenation. Like you're feeling new, you're feeling cleansed, you're feeling lighter. Like the fool and the reverse. Interesting. Too many cards. Um, there might be some Maybe the advice of these two cards together is cautious optimism. Meaning, if you are super hopeful about a new start or a risk, it might be a little, depending on your situation, a certain degree of reckless. Because um, it might be like, A not so calculated risk. Maybe take a moment um, and don't place your bets on things that are very, very important to you in this month of November. Um, first of all, it's coming through if, look. I know new moon in Aquarius, new moons are, you're being told a lot to have set intentions and, and then comes the lunar eclipse on the 19th and it's like, oh, potent energy. This month is not really a month to cast spells or to try to energetically warp something. Um, the energy will be used by the universe to, as it is reorganizing a lot of things, not necessarily in a way that you would like. Um, and also the, the Taurus Scorpio axis can be quite dark, especially combined with an eclipse. Unless you're a master magus and you don't need me to tell you anything. I mean, you don't need me to tell you anything regardless, but not the time. Uh, not the time, guys. December is a way better time um, to take risks, to bet. Now, if you want to be free of something that is imprisoning to you, I'm, I'm not referring to that. Be free, okay? If you're in a toxic relationship, if you're in a toxic work environment, if you're in a toxic living situation, toxic anything, yes, set yourself free. Less, yes, listen to your heart. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to say less is more. So maybe it's not a matter of how much you make or the property or the home as much as it's your well-being. Okay, six of cups. Some of you are dreaming of making a change, but you're not making a change because you're... Um, as you're hopeful for the potential change and transformation, um, you're also simultaneously emotionally restricting yourself to the past. Like uber nostalgic kind of energy. I'm also seeing that someone is in love with someone who is reckless who's mindless, who doesn't take their heart or feelings into consideration. It's not even in the back of their mind. 
you know, as you um, reminiscence and wallow, they are like. They're not even thinking that you possibly might be. I'm sorry. Look, this energy right now um, is 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 squaring you. It's like you know, Taurus is to your left, right? The full moon on the 19th with the eclipse, with the lunar eclipse, and then Scorpio is to your right on the wheel. Um, the energy of the new moon. And it's interesting because new moons are energy of beginnings, yet you have the sign of Scorpio now in this month over there that can really signi signify endings and transformations and transitions. Um, it's the archetype of death, right? And then on the full moon, which is like energy of culminations, um, you have Taurus, which is life archetype, like bringing creating, producing life, um, sustaining life. A lot, it's a, it's, a, it's a paradox, like it's a contradiction, right? The energy of the renewal is in the lunar cycle of the ending. The energy of the release is in the lunar cycle of the beginning. And, you know, and this energy is to your left, right? Like to your west. This energy is to your right, to your east your east right and it's almost like so the sun of your life this month is like rising the sun is for you this month the sun is rising in the west and setting in the east like the polarities are just like <laughs> it's like earth is turned upside down with you guys and I, I'm not trying to scare you I'm just over dramatic and over symbolic and poetic with the energies in ways of expressing what I'm seeing for you but it's like the past that you're reminiscing over and the future that you're hopeful for it's almost like in a way they are they're coinciding because it's not that they exist simultaneously but they do exist simultaneously within you and, and they become muddled and so the energy doesn't really know what to manifest the past the future and the present it feels like the same but they're so different from one another in reality so Take a moment. Watch as this month, Leo, this is specifically for you. I'm picking up on other signs that are not supposed to listen to this guidance. This is not your reading. It's not for all of the signs, specifically what I'm about to say right now, unless you have very prominent, dominant Leo energy in your chart. If it's just like some house with no particular placements, like, or no particular, you know, angles, it just... If Leo energy is dominant in your chart, listen to this. If not, it, it's not for you. And I'm saying this for a reason. For you, Leo, this month is when you are guided to watch the sun rising in your west and then setting in your east and, you know, discerning and observing and noting and prepping for the big push in December. That will be go time. Okay, even Mars and, Merc and Mercury, like in Scorpio, it's, it's squaring you something. It's very challenging for you. So you're going to be challenged this month to come to terms with a lot of oxymorons in your life and aligning with the shifts. So you want to do things that make you feel, make you feel comfortable and safe because the energy will find a way to challenge you where you need to be challenged right and then you'll respond to it but don't actively search for it because then it will just multiply it for no reason uh, and will make it more difficult to handle um, the reason why i emphasize why it's specifically for you is because there are other signs right now who are very much guided to make major changes in, in their life uh, endings beginnings cutting things out making room for new like Things are really, really shifting rapidly for some people. Um, so that's why I don't want to like make someone who's not supposed to listen to this guidance listen to this guidance. All right. Uh, the responsibility that comes with general readings. Hey.
Dear phone, can you please chill for a second? It's just emails, it's like rando emails. Did any of this make sense? Leo, I hope it did. Let me know in the comments, please. I read all the comments in case you're not aware. Um, except for those that lovely YouTube protects me from. You know, cursing and violence and hate speeches are um, are taken out, are, take, are automatically taken off. Show me more, please, for Leo. Four of Pentacles. Six of Cup, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles. That's an energy that really doesn't want to let go. That is holding on to something that is practically already in the ethers. The star in the upright and the full in the reverse. It's in the ether. It's gone. It's in a new sphere, new dimension, new um, existence, new... A star next to what, to what I'm saying, um, an, an important note. If we're talking about a passing loved one, I did not just say that they don't care about you, that they're not looking back, that they don't love you. It's not that real. Okay, I'm referring to things in your life that you don't let go of, that it's time to let go of, that will make you happier to let go of, but you will always have love and room in your heart for, you know, for any loss that you've experienced, and those who left will always love you. Okay, if anyone has left this life, they will always love you. I felt really strongly the need to say this right now. Because I'm suddenly picking up on a, on a very naive energy of a child that might be watching this or in your vicinity. Um, when you're explaining challenging things to them, please be sure to repeat what you mean and clarify and say it in multiple different ways and constantly tell them, do you have any question? Because I'm seeing room for misinterpretation in a way that can really injure them and you, you, you have no intent to do so. It's just something about the explanation might, might, not, might get muddled with, with their just incapacity to fathom something at, the, at that age or with the emotional state that they're in. So be very, very um, clear with communicating challenging communications with a young individual especially children okay very very important show me more please for Leo king of cups And three of cups. Okay. So this brings in a connection with someone very dear to you. There's a union, um, a meetup that is very, very joyous, very, very happy. Um, maybe, maybe you're like meeting an old friend for a drink, you know, and. Uh, just reminiscing the good old the good old days and just having a really good laugh, um, and kind of feeling free and, and lighthearted, like you used to, w with them. Maybe it's a friend from college. Maybe it's a childhood friend. You know, something that reminds you of good times. Um, There is someone that is celebrating you, that is honoring you, that loves you, that wants to, you know, it's, it's almost like the energy of someone dedicating a song 
you know, like maybe you're going to a karaoke bar and they're like, you know, they're, they're grabbing the microphone and this is dedicated to Leo. And then they sing like a really cute, cheesy song. They're like, oh, I don't know if I really love this or if I'm really embarrassed, but this is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up on. And it takes you out of the rut. It takes you out of being like in a day in, day out, um, dreaming of something or wishing on something that just feels like it's getting farther and farther away from you. And, and this, it's almost like you're using the past or a good friend of yours or someone that knows you is using your past in order to anchor you back into reality but the good aspects of it and away from somewhat of a a fantasy that might be hurtful to you or a potential of some sort maybe there was it's like a potential something that could have could have would have should have i'm picking up it's something that could have happened in the future but will not so someone is using other aspects of the past or something that you've experienced together in ways of like reminding you what other things can be and how wonderful you are or something like that it's it's really sweet and, and emotionally helpful show me more please for Leo for November Two of Cups and Seven of Swords. Interesting. From three to two. Mm. I do see someone sneaking out of a relationship. Now it doesn't have to be a long-term relationship. It could it could have been something that was on and off for a very long time. Um Or in, in, in another aspect, it could have been like just a recent dating situation um, where someone chooses one person. Like, let's say it's like they were just like dating a few people just in the beginning stages, like maybe from, I don't know, like um, um, dating sites. Um, and then someone chooses to like focus on one person and spend more time with them and be with them. and they're doing that in a way of like just kind of just not connecting anymore not communicating anymore with the other person or with the other people i don't know how many uh could have been one could have been a few i'm not sure but um so they're choosing instead of like saying clearly hey i'm sorry this is not working out i'm choosing to focus on something else or on someone else they're just kind of phasing out um that's okay, because something better will come, Leo, if that's, if that's something that you're experiencing, that someone is doing to you. Uh, if you're doing that, just a word to the wise. Shoot out a text. Say something. Be respectful. It goes a long way. Um, ooh, okay. ooh, ooh, ooh. Two of swords. Yeah, you... Someone just doesn't want to do that. Someone, someone is not really... They're strong... It's not really their strong suit to deal emotionally because this person, the reason why they phase out or ghost is um, because they're very, very scared of conflict. They grew up with their parents fighting all the time. And they're worried that if they'll say something, it, you'll, you'll be like, oh no, no. Like they're worried that you'll confront them or be mad at them. And they just they don't want to do that. They don't want to deal with that. Um which sucks for both because you don't get someone showing basic respect and they don't get the experience of oh i expressed myself and there was no drama you know that's also a healing experience when, when someone is to say that to you and you're like oh okay thank you for letting me know i respect that best of luck oh you know nice meeting you um it was nice meeting you like 
So if you're a cross watcher for Leo, if you're thinking about like just phasing out or you do that, keep in mind that that's where it's coming from. You have uh, an innate fear of conflict. You rather just beat around the bush or just flee. Uh, <laughs> Yes, there's someone here, two, two of swords came right underneath the uh, the fool. Um, this is also someone that doesn't like to take things too further, too much further in, into a relationship. They like the beginning stages because that's when everything is fun and sweet. But then when when conflict starts, they just, they can't deal with that. They just, someone here just does not know how to deal with conflict. Um, and the thing is, they interpret like very basic conversations as conflict. Like, for example, where should we go out to dinner today? And usually you guys see eye to eye, and but this time you want this restaurant and they want that restaurant. Dun, dun, dun. Not a major conflict, just a mini conflict. Where normally you could just be like, figure it out or choose a third, a third option or... It's like okay, this time we go to your to your preference, and next time we'll go to my preference. Like there's there's so many calm ways to deal with many disagreements, right? However, to them or to you, I don't know, this person, just the thought of it, it freaks them out. So the second you want to go to this restaurant, they want to go to that restaurant. It's like, oh no, we're going to go into a fight, or this person is going to cause drama, or this person is going to... It's like their, their psyche starts because I think they grew up, this person could be them or you, ah, whoever, <laughs> grew up in an environment where every little thing was uber inflammable. Like, the smallest thing became explosive. Um, so it requires therapy. Guys, there's no shame in therapy. Like, it's... Psychology is the base of spirituality. That's where it starts. You've got to know thyself to reach the stars. You are the vessel. If you don't know the vessel, if you don't know how to drive your own vessel, you can't get to your destination. Right? So treat the psyche with love and care. And if there's something there, address it. And if you're experiencing it from someone else, know that it's not personal, it's not against you, that's what they're dealing with. That's what their psyche is dealing with. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. more, please, for beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leo, please. For the month of November. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Guys, if some of you are wishing and hoping and setting a new moon intention for someone that you love but and you want or something but it doesn't give you the time of day it's not present um, they're not around it's not going to change it's not going to work out save your energy for bigger better stronger manifestations December is going to be fly and this month can be fly if you don't stick yourself in the mud um, this could be someone that has um, I'm picking up on someone that has some sort of uh, blockages or difficulties in their with their sexuality it also uh, goes back to their childhood psychology um, so this is just as confirmation for some of you um, this could be someone who, with um, a substance abuse that drinks a lot so they can't function um, right it's because of too much substance not because of them it's what it's because of what they do um, another sub subtext is coming through it's it's um someone's 
the mother is being controlling and um, kind of always meddles in the relationship. And there's a masculine here who really needs to grow up emotionally, who's um, stuck in their childhood home um, with what mom will say. It's all about what mom will say, whether they admit it or not. Um, I feel like it's a parent, it's a mom that constantly told this child that everything is going to be just fine when it wasn't fine. And the reason it wasn't fine is because she didn't make it fine. So it's not like exterior events she had no control over and she tried to com uh, comfort her child. It's more like this parent, you know, was reckless possibly and immature themselves, almost like a child parent. So they're the ones who made things bad while telling their child that everything is fine or will be fine. So they've developed major mistrust, major trust issues. Like how am I going to trust when you're telling me that you love me or that everything is fine when obviously you're lying and you're going to mess it all up. You know, it's uh, so this person, if you're watching, if this is you, um, I highly recommend therapy. It's not a bad word. We all need therapy. Okay, someone to talk to about these things. Don't run away to the stars um, claiming it's because you love the stars. It's not because you love the stars, it's because you don't know how to stand on earth. And the reason you don't know how to stand on earth is not because you don't have the ability. You have the ability. You are a beautiful, glorious Leo. Yes, you can. But something got you debilitated. Something hurt you to a level that made your feet numb on the ground. Okay? It can absolutely be resolved. It can absolutely be helped. This is a wonderful time, wonderful opportunity for healing and for relieve, relieve like taking out aspects of, in our psyche that have been debilitating us. Okay, that's the month. This is what this month is for. Don't make more wishes. More manifestation. You're just creating because there's a vacuum. There's nothing for these wishes to land into. There's no like um, strong ground to 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 grab the seeds and let them, you know, and containing them and let them blossom. Right? It's like this needs to be addressed. Um, okay, I will continue this reading in the extended, which is available on Patreon and Vimeo. Check out the links below for all the other goodies as well. I'm on Instagram, The Existential Shift. I'm not done. I'm shuffling more cards. I'm just telling you in case you need you want to know this. But if you don't, stay tuned. I'm still. Uh, um, also check out Tarot Masterclass Bunkai. Check out Kar Karmic Shift and Liberation. But first and foremost, check out Patreon. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, Play. You are more than welcome to join the shift. If you're not into it, if you didn't enjoy this video, if this didn't help you, then why are you here? If you're here, you enjoyed it and it helped you. So, subscribe. Uh, by the way, guys, just a general note. If you want to receive notifications, but you're not receiving notifications, you need to make sure that you also press the bell button and turn in your settings turn on the notification receiving notifications because if you just press the bell button but it's off on your settings the notification um then it won't send it to you it needs both need to be on okay just for those of you who want to receive notif notification who wants to know when new videos are out um and also support the channel that way that's for you guys if you don't it's all good I love you anyway. I do. I really do. Every single one of you that stayed thus far, you're the bomb. Anything else to conclude for Leo, please, this month of November?
two of pentacles. Um, two, 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 three twos. If you find it hard to make a decision, go to the root aspect in you that needs to make that decision and heal that and figure out what it wants, okay? So if this is a love dilemma, go to the place in you that seeks love and romance and ask it what it wants for yourself what you want, what you need, and that will help you make a decision in accordance and apply that for everything else. Where to live? Should I move there? Should I move or should I stay here or move there? Study, you know, study yourself, go inside of like, what is important to me when it comes to my living situation? What kind of environment will make me happy? What kind of neighbors will make me happy? What kind of apartment will make me happy? Where do I want to be in the long haul or in a year from now? I know it sounds like super basic, but that's that's the thing that works. Sit with yourself and you know, you will give yourself the answer. Okay? All right, I'll see you in a second. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.